Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to add three decimals. Now, if you're able to add two decimals, you're going to be able to add three. It's the same exact setup and process as adding two decimals, except we're going to be working with three. Let's jump into our examples and start with number one, where we have five and four tenths plus three and 27 hundredths plus 99 hundredths. So the first thing we need to do when we set this up is line our decimals up. So five and four tenths, then we have three and 27 hundredths, and then 99 hundredths. So our decimals are lined up. Now the problem does look a little offset because five and four tenths doesn't go to the hundredths place like the other decimals. So we can use placeholder zeros so this problem looks a little more lined up. Remember, zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value. They give us an equivalent decimal, so we can do this. So let's put a zero in the hundredths place. Now everything goes to the hundredths and we're a little more lined up. Once we have that, we add. So we start by adding the hundredths place. So zero plus seven plus nine, that's going to give us 16. So regroup or carry the one. Then we add the tenths. So one plus four is five, plus two is seven, plus nine is 16. Regroup or carry the one. Now I'm going to bring my decimal straight down into my answer. That decimal should be lined up throughout the entire problem. Now we add the ones. So one plus five is six, plus three is nine. Our final answer, nine and 66 hundredths. Now I do wanna mention one more time where to place the decimal in the answer. So bring the decimal straight down. Decimals should be lined up throughout the entire problem when we add decimals, even in the answer. So again, bring that decimal straight down. Let's move on to number two, where we have 61 and 3 tenths plus 38 plus 7 and 742 thousandths. Let's line this problem up. So 61 and 3 tenths plus 38. Now 38 is a whole number, but it still has a decimal. Whenever you're working with a whole number and you need to line up decimals, decimals come after whole numbers. So the decimal comes after the 38. Then we have seven and 742 thousandths. So let's use some placeholder zeros to get this problem uh, lined up a little better. So everything needs to go to the thousandths place. And now we're lined up and ready to add. So start with the thousandths. We have zero plus zero plus two. That's going to give us two. Now for the hundredths, zero plus zero plus four. That gives us four. Now the tenths, three plus zero plus seven. That gives us 10. So we put our zero and regroup or carry the one. Bring our decimal straight down. And now we add the ones. So one plus one is two, plus eight is 10, plus seven is 17. Regroup or carry the one. And we end with the tens place where we have one plus six plus three. So one plus six is seven, plus three is 10. So we put our zero and then regroup or carry the one over to the hundreds. There's nothing else in the hundreds, so we can just bring it straight down. And our final answer, 107 and 42 thousandths. So there you have it. There's how you add three decimals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.